So I'm going to show you what went wrong with my rocker arms. Uh, this was the cheaper Trunnion rebuild kit that uses the bronze bushings here. First, let's take a look. This is a factory rocker arm. I don't know if that'll show up on the camera. Right in here are a bunch of needle bearings. I have some left over from when I rebuilt these here. And there's some loose needle bearings. Those go inside of here on the, on the shoulder. I don't think I can get one set there. They're just kind of setting in there. And then they're captured by these end caps. And those end caps are not captured not actively captured by a ring clamp or a ring clip, whatever, a C-clip, whatever you call these, or anything. So what tends to happen, uh, granted mine had 235,000 miles, not an issue at all, but what can happen is this cap can walk its way off and throw all these little needle bearings in the motor. So when I was researching my build, I do what a lot of people do. I go, oh wow, if you use a bronze bushing and it's captured with a C-clip, it will never risk throwing these needle bearings. The issue I ran into though is, and I don't know if that'll show up, I'll take a picture if it doesn't. Right at the tip there, you can see that groove that's worn. If look at the other side, there's no groove. So that groove is this oil piece right here in the trunnion, the fulcrum. And what happened was the spring pressure forced this rocker arm up and wore it into that uh, bronze bushing. And for many people, that may be an, a bit of a moot issue. If you're just uh, driving a short distance, you're drag racing, you're doing whatever, you're not a high mileage car. This happened to me at 12,000 miles. And I have a tight spec preload on my lifter. So I ate up all that preload. That little groove set me to zero lash on almost every cylinder. Um, and they make better trunnion kits as well. That will last a bit longer, you know, 50,000 miles, maybe longer. However, they're a perishable item where you do need to replace these bronze bushings every now and again. Now, I was talking with Manton Performance, Trevor, and they make a rocker arm that provides oil pressure to there. It redirects the um, oil from the push rod and the lifter and puts it into the bushing itself. But they're like uh, thousands of dollars for a set of those. So I come up, came up with something completely different. Roger Vinci helped me um, find this and um, I will show you what that is after a bit. But I wanted, to, I wanted to show you, you know, the kind of the crux of using a Trunnion rebuild kit. Now this kit is the cheapest one you could buy. I didn't even know that. I would have bought the better one had I known or what I eventually bought now. I wouldn't have bothered with this this kit here. Uh, so have you, if you have a, a factory spec lifter, I'd imagine these would last a bit longer because you have a deeper preload, uh, a more forgiving preload. But simply, I don't know if that's showing up at all. Just that little ring, that lip in there, it shelled out. Another, I'm quick, I'm gonna say another issue I have with these is sometimes if the, if this brass bushing is pushed in too far, it will, this trunnion itself, the fulcrum here in the middle will wear a groove into the side of this brass bushing as well. That happened on several of my, my valves. And so this, this just really, you know, if you're the low buck LS guy and you're just trying to build something for the demolition derby or a few runs down the racetrack, I, I kind of get it, but I'm in a situation, and this is what I bought in the end, I'm in a situation where if I have a mechanical failure or a problem, it may be, th it will be thousands of dollars for me to get the truck recovered from where I'm at and back to my garage so I can repair it. And so I, I went with the, what I thought would be the most robust uh, solution of all. And we'll get into these after a bit.